Hey guys! I haven't done a dramatic look in a while for you all, so I thought it would be fun to do the Katy Perry dark horse look. The one specifically where she's got that really like gleaming, shimmering teal eye. And she's got the dark hair, she has the blue backdrop. She's wearing this crazy gilded outfit that like extends outwards like this. It's so, it's epic. I really love the look. I thought she looked especially gorgeous in that look and I fell in love with the makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do. The video is not what I expected at all, but the makeup was great and I loved how colorful the video was. I'll give it that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna start by priming my face. I will be mostly using um, Sigma items today. You know what that means. And since we're gonna be working with glitter, ooh, I'm gonna do like the concealing and all that later on. So right now, let's just start with foundation. She definitely looks very golden in that scene. So I'm gonna just sort of deepen things up. I'm using my Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki brush. Let's just do this first. I'm gonna extend it down to the neck too. And this brush definitely just makes everything blend in so quickly. So once again, not gonna do anything underneath the eyes yet, just in case we get any kind of glitter fallout, shadow fallout later. Now I'm gonna fill in the brows. Her brows are definitely deep and filled in, so we're gonna use the Dark Brow Powder Duo. I'm gonna first just outline right beneath. Okay, now onto the eye makeup. You can probably see the oil already forming on my lids. I definitely need primer, but we're just gonna get that all over the lid and right underneath. And I'm gonna first start with some eye pencils. I'm gonna use the shade in Enlighten. Put this right in the inner corners. And then I'm gonna grab the shade in Indigo Bird. And we're gonna get that pretty much all over the lid. I'm gonna take this wide shader brush. I think it's gonna do a really great job at blending because it's so dense. I'm gonna take the inner corner shader brush and I'm gonna go into Vanish. We're gonna go over where we placed that enlightening. As you can see, this is a much more warm gold. Now I'm gonna take a mix of Nebula, which is from the Smokescreen palette, and Orze, which is actually from the Paris palette. I'm going to Orze first. Lay this right. Mostly where, as you can see, I have very hooded lids, so I'm kind of going more on the top region so that it doesn't look more hooded since this isn't a shimmery shade. I'm gonna go into Nebula, just grabbing that same brush, and then we're gonna go on the lid where my fold is here. And we're also gonna go right over the orze so that it still has a bit of that gleam and shimmer. And then if you want to grab a clean brush, I'm just gonna grab this blending brush, you can feather out the edges. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my um, highlight shade, which is in Approach. She's using that same brush and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. She has a very shimmery brow bone as well. So now we're going to use some scotch tape so that we can get really clean lines at the edge here. But I'm just gonna make it a little bit less sticky before we stick it on our face. The way we're gonna place this, because there's gonna be lower liner that extends out this way too, so you want it to be parallel to that. So you don't wanna angle this up too high, right? I'm gonna take my blending brush, and then I'm gonna go into this charcoal shade. I'm just gonna blend it, kind of overlapping where the highlight and where the blur of the teal is. You might have a little bit of a blank spot right here in this outer V, so just sort of blend that in. This is the Domed Utility Brush, Almost Jet, which is just a black shade. It does have a bit of shimmer to it, and we're gonna get right into where we want it especially to find now. So I'm gonna go right in, and just going about maybe halfway in, not too far in here. I'm gonna go down. You can even blend this right onto the lash line right here. I'm gonna grab the blending brush and soften it up just a little bit. All right, tape coming off. I take my gel liner, let's use an angled brush. The easiest way is to just sort of press it right into your lash line. First, just like that. And then 
creep your way inwards. Get it really in there. Wing it on up. Has a little bit of a mark right here. So we're just gonna do that. Go right into the inner corner. We're just gonna start and stop midway because remember you don't want this all the way up. It's gonna be there's gonna be a gap right here. So it's just gonna go straight up and then be parallel with that line. So I'm just creating a mark just to have an idea. I'm just gonna deepen it up a bit more. So as you can tell, I grew quiet here, got in deep focus mode. I ended up switching to an even smaller eyeliner brush, but if you want more control, you can also try using a really small detailed flat edge brush for more control since this kind of brush can be a little bit tricky at times. Now on to the fun part, the glitter. I'm going to take a mix of these two glitters. One is more fine and more yellow than the other one. So I just think it's going to look really pretty and dimensional. Then I'm going to use a glitter base. Grab a synthetic pencil brush. You just want to mix the glitter with the glitter base so that it creates a nice paste. We're going to do the same with the teal glitter. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one that was just completely teal. This one's like multicolored, so we're just going to apply a little bit of that right here. I'm going to just continue to let it dry. I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and we're going to stick these Salon Perfect Demi Wispies on. I'm just gonna grab my precision flat angle brush and take a couple of these shades here. I'm basically just using concealer to highlight and brighten these parts of the face. I was thinking about doing a separate video on this, so definitely let me know if you'd like to see that. I love this brush, it's pretty much like a baby version of the brush that I use to apply my foundation. Do a more yellow toned powder and just dust that to set the face. Once again, the full list of products will be on my blog, if I didn't mention that earlier. Bronzing contouring is right here. So let's take the blush. She looks like she kind of has like a dusty rose shade. And we're just going to apply that onto the cheeks. Tapered highlighter brush and we're going to go into Peaceful. I'm going to touch right here, kind of create like a C right here bridge of my nose too. Fill in my lips. Then we're going to top that off with the Sigma gloss in Get Ready. And it's a really, really pretty gloss. As you can see, it's kind of like this golden nectar color. I'm just going to apply most of that in the center and work it outwards. I kind of want to Extend a little bit of the blue onto the brow bone. Further fade that up. Yeah, that's better. Let me go ahead and do the hair and everything so we look more complete. So I'm looking at the look and I feel like the lips have darkened a little bit. So I'm actually going to lighten it using the Lose the Halo Lip Concealer. And I'm pretty much just going to dab this right in the center so that it sort of highlights lips, makes them look fuller, and lightens them at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up and definitely check out my blog at imixtino.com. We're going to take higher quality pictures. And of course, there is a giveaway. Thank you so much to Sigma for everything. Five of you will have a chance to win a $100 gift certificate to shop on sigmabeauty.com, which is awesome. You can choose out what brushes or what makeup products you want to try out from them. As you can tell, I definitely love their brushes. So all you have to do is leave a comment down below stating, I was born to be 
in lieu of their new Born to be collection, I was born to be blank. So it could be I was born to be a star or anything like that. The giveaway will end in about a week. I'll have all the details listed down below. And that is it. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.